guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. freaking much. You guys are my rock. Thank you for your love and support. You have no idea how you've helped me. Oh my God. In my journey. Crown chakra, the ace of wands. The ace of wands seems to be pretty important energy. Crown chakra, deep knowing. Um, wow. <laughs> I can't believe that popped up when I was talking about how much you guys have helped me um, overcome my blockages, my triggers, um, how you've helped me realize my my strength, my confidence, my talents, my abilities, and um, you know, just I I feel surrounded by your love. Okay, so this is going to be a Yin reading, Divine Feminine, for February the fourth until the 11th. So I'm using my deck. I did a split divine partnership for the masculine, so we'll do the same thing. So <clears throat> you can probably fast forward through this part. And I'm going to pull three cards per position with my smaller deck. So in the Divine Masculine reading, I, um, I, you know, I kind of just jumped all over the place. Um, I usually follow a certain flow when I'm doing this reading, but I decided I'm going to mix things up a little bit. All right, so let's start with the overall energy. Wow, full card. So you feel that you are standing on a precipice. Um, all the possibilities expand before you. So this card represents pure potential. It also represents the super conscious mind, which is your higher self. It is also the collective source. Um, so this is being in a state of pure poten potential, zero, right? You haven't taken that leap of faith yet. Um, and there's a sense that there's this new beginning coming in the future. There's this, uh, you know, new start. You're... you're um, detached, you have no expectations, but at the same time you're you're about to move forward, take this new adventure. So this is a very freeing energy. Um, you know, you're enthusiastic, you're excited, you're, um, you know, you see the world through a child's eyes. So that's an incredible energy to encompass the entire reading. There's so much excitement for this new start, but you still need to take that leap of faith. Um, all right, so the super conscious mind, since we're talking about that, you know, elevated consciousness, let's do the message from the universe to begin with. So the Eight of Pentacles. So this is positive movement forward. This is manifestation. You're starting to see the fruits of your labor. There's still more work to do, but you have built this firm, solid foundation. Um, your success is deeply rooted. So the universe wants you to know something about perhaps work or perhaps continuing to build on this foundation. Let's see. Wow, there's that crown chakra again. Five of pentacles and the nine of swords in the future. Crown chakra past position major illumination, major awareness, um, crystal clarity is what I named the um, twin flame reading I, I did earlier. So th this is a deep knowing, right? And it comes from spirituality. So your connection to source is, is verified. You know, source is there with you. We are there with you. You're never alone. Um, but you're being divinely guided to pursue maybe spiritual work, you know, be a light worker or um, 
maybe you've have had some, you know, aha moments in the past that has to do with, you know, building upon that foundation. I'm not too sure. But five of pentacles in the present position. This is a disconnect, feeling alone, feeling like there's nobody to help you. So I, I think that this is the universe giving you encouragement, saying you're not alone. Look at all the stuff that you've already achieved. Um, and if you need the help, reach out and ask for, self, for help. Now, perhaps you're having a difficult time letting go of material possessions. Um, maybe you're suffering from an illness. You feel weighted down um, in the 3D reality. Maybe you don't feel like you've been successful. I don't know. But the future position is the Nine of Swords. This card keeps showing up in the future for both aspects. And there's a major completion of this. You know, there's this climatic moment of crystal clarity. Now, the Nine of Swords is um, a dark night of the soul. Right? You are consumed by negative thoughts, unable to sleep, nightmares, night terrors. So there's something that's playing over and over in, in your mind. And it is making you feel that you are disconnected, that you are not accomplished, but you are. Return to that, you know, that, um, return to source, meditate if you have to. Um, don't concentrate so much on the material reality because ultimately I think that's what's causing you stress. Let's move forward a bit. Okay, so let's go to the past position. Ace of Wands, oh my god. These are from two different decks. Ace of Wands, past position, this showed up twice in, in the Twin Flame reading, so it also showed up in, in the present position for the masculine. Um, so the Ace of Wands, Kundalini Awakening, Spark of Inspiration, uh, the Go Light, Aha, right? So the Crown Chakra and Ace of Wands showing to up together. Those are the two cards that popped out at the beginning there. So you either feel very creative or you feel very um, inspired to take that new road or that new beginning and you're getting the goal light it has to do with spirituality three of swords sacral chakra five of swords three of swords i thought that was put in the past you know um but it, it keeps on showing i showed up in the um final outcome past position so it is a major element that keeps on reshowing itself from the past so healed the heart, let it go. It was creating some emotional blo blo blockage. The sacral chakra is actually showing up twice for the masculine in the past. So this is a blockage in the ability to express your emotions, feel emotions, um, connect with people, right? So this broken heart is, you know, causing a blockage. The five of wands, future position, conflict, negative energy, finger pointing. So among all that darkness, there's still light. This is the main energy, okay? So you were dealing with negative people that were dragging you down and hurting your heart, okay? And that definitely was the theme in last week's reading. And so now we're focusing more on the future, on a new beginning and clearing those blockages. You know, don't allow yourself to be consumed by negative thoughts and um, believe in that disconnect because, you know, we are connected in the 5D. All of us are. Um, okay, so let's look to the external environment. Wow, 11-11. Oh, my God. This card keeps on showing up for the masculine. It showed up once for the feminine, but holy man. Confirmation, the masculine is getting major signs and synchronicities or he's fully aware of this twin flame connection. Major theme. So definitely go watch the twin flame reading in the masculine. This is coming from your external environment. Right? It's like a blaring you. You know, it's a blaring sign. 
that there's some major event taking place with the masculine. He is choosing love. He got the double, a double king of cups in the past position. So there's this true love, heart chakra, activation, and movement towards the 11-11, towards love. There's that eight of pentacles again, page of cups, four of pentacles. So past position, eight of pentacles, same card here. Okay, so the universe seems to think that this is a very important factor, that maybe you are placing too much importance on manifesting this connection into the 3D reality, or that the masculine could be the one that's doing a lot of work on his, his soul growth, right? Um, it's like he's building momentum. Um, the Page of Cups is a new beginning of love. There, the Ace of Cups, as well as the Four of Wands, is showing up in the future. So there's this new start of love. Maybe he's desiring to express his love. So this could come as um, loving messages, um, notes, uh, just, you know, tiny gestures to say that this person loves you, wants to connect with you. Um, admires you, respects you. This is also the muse, so um, he may be feeling inspired to be poetic. So the, he's coming from a very grounded energy, and there's that desire to start a new love. Future position, Four of Pentacles. Ladies, be careful not to close yourself off. Um, yeah, just, you know, Four of Pentacles is somebody not listening, not allowing somebody in, holding on too tightly. So this is in your external, so it may come from the masculine. I'm not really feeling that in his reading, though. I'm feeling this as your blockage. You on, may be on some level uh, be triggered by, you know, that new beginning. You're like, well, I don't know. I mean, I've been disappointed so many times in the past. I gave my heart, I expressed my emotions, and I was um, met with negative energy, negative thoughts, and those thoughts continue to plague at my mind. Maybe I'm not quite ready to receive it just yet. What's in your present position, ladies? <laughs> Knight of Cups, very nice. This card showed up in the foundation uh, for the Twin Flame reading. So you want to move forward, pursue love. This is longing energy. The Page of Cups is in your external, and there's a sense that you want to move forward. Again, being on that precipice. precipice sorry. Uh, so this is desiring somebody and wanting to make a commitment to them. Offer your love. Wow, 11-11, oh my god. Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. 11-11 card again showing up. Holy man, so your past position, um, you made some major realizations about this Twin Flame connection. And you're holding that love in your heart. There's this, you know, the coming together card was in your present position. You know, so there's this desire to come together with your Twin Flame. There's a solid foundation there with the Three of Pentacles. Um, you feel grounded in this knowing. However, m your mind is still fucking with you. Seven of Swords, not being able to trust. Putting your faith in somebody and having them betray you. Again, pointing that Three of Swords there. I believed in the Twin Flame connection at one point, and I know on some level it's real, and I want to move forward with it. And I, I feel drawn to move forward, take that leap of faith, but then there's this stoppage, blockage on the feminine side, all blockages in, in future positions. You know, it's like you're regressing. Okay, so let's look at, well, what are you resisting? Five of Cups, you're resisting forgiving those people that hurt you. Um, you're forgiving yourself for believing, you know, negative stories. This is um, mourning, 
right? So when you've attached yourself to somebody or something and they leave, you are left with this deep sense of pain in your heart, okay? So you're still dealing with that three of swords. You're not fully ready to open yourself up just yet. Um, yeah, so you're resisting clearing this emotional blockage. Get in there. Okay. Six of swords. Nine of Wands and the Knight of Wands. So past position, Six of Swords, moving from chaos to calmer state. We can see all that mental bullshit happening there and you making a decision to walk away from it in order to find some clarity, but begin anew. It's very similar energy to the Eight of Cups, moving on. But this is moving from chaos to stillness. Awesome. Nine of Wands in the present position is the Wounded Warrior, so this is feeling like you want to give up on the journey, feeling like you've given too much of yourself. It's too hard, you know, you, you have to invest so much of yourself in order to, to stay on top. But this card says that you have it in you in order to give it another push, you know, to give it that final push. Right. So there's a lot of wounds here and exhaustion and um, retreat. The Knight of Wands in the future position. So the feminine got two knights. So this is movement forward. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is, you know, grabbing that Ace of Wands and galloping forward out of that darkness, the Phoenix rising. So this is an accelerated state. It's an explosion blast out of the gate very directed energy like an arrow moving towards your goal so this could um, I what I just see here is this movement out of darkness into empowerment and taking control of your life and not letting anything stop you Okay, so what is your message from your higher self? Nice, Eight of Cups, wow. I say wow because the masculine got the King of Cups twice in the past, so there's this love that keeps showing up. Knight, Knight of Cups as well, Page of Cups, water, emotions, somebody who feels love deeply, unconditional love. She's all love. This is also intuitive ability. So your higher self is whispering in your ear and, and telling you to love, express your love. Um, you may have been hurt in the past, but don't allow that to stop you. Don't close yourself off. Heal those wounds. Tears are like he healing rain. Okay, so let's see what else. Solar plexus, the chariot, and the Queen of Swords. Solar plexus, past position, losing your power, losing your confidence, um, feeling, yeah, just disempowered, right? There's, this card is activated when you need, to, you know, it's very similar to the magician and chariot together. It's overcoming challenges, right, in order to you know, you're empowering yourself in order to exert yourself on, onto the world. So self-confidence, self willpower, courage. And when this card shows up, it means there's a blockage there. So the sacral chakra and solar plexus chakra both showed up for the masculine um, as well. So there's a movement up the chakras. These blockages are being cleared. So the present position is a chariot. Um, I relate with these two cards. I'm the Queen of Cups plus the Chariot, uh, Cancer. Uh, now the chariot is movement forward. Again, there's a sense of movement in the future and in the present. So this, your higher self is telling you to get control of your power, your strength. Overcome those, those challenges. Direct your energy towards that goal and not, don't let anything stand in your way. You're a very powerful being. Um, and 
but don't be emotionally manipulated as well. The Queen of Swords is somebody who isn't m emotionally manipulated. The Queen of Swords is actually the similar energy to the King of Cups, both water and air. So, but she is more to the extreme. She is more air than water, right? So she, uh, her mind is what, you know, she uses her mental strength in order to guide her. Now, this is somebody who will cut you off in an instant, emotionally. Um, but it's also, you know, feminine mother energy. So say what's on your mind, but don't be emotionally manipulated. She sees through bullshit. Um, she makes decisions. She speaks her truth. She's very um, courageous and powerful, right? So, yeah, what I'm feeling here is definitely a sense of having your heart broken, but, you know, maybe you need to d disconnect from your emotions on some level um, in order to overcome those blockages, you know, those barriers, those challenges. So your higher self, get control, grab those reins, direct your energy towards what you want. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let negative thoughts get in your way. Don't close off because it's just going to cause more um, lack and more fear. It's time to let it go. So uh, what do you fear? You fear the Ten of Wands. You fear collapsing in exhaustion, or you fear that there's going to be no end to it. You got the Nine of Wands in what you're resisting in the present position over there. So there's a combination, but you're afraid um, to let go. So this is um, this is reaching the top, and you know realizing you still need to put so much work and effort into something in order to stay at the top. But then you get to a point where you're so exhausted that you clap, right? You clap. So you're feeling burdened, but you're not willing to allow somebody to help you or, you know, um, give the reins to somebody else. Three of cups, the sun. Ooh, just realized I'm getting a migraine. When I get a migraine, I get these like crystal kind of weird um, visuals on the corner of my eyes. So. Okay, so anyway, um, the Three of Cups in the past position, this is inactivation, feeling love, celebrating love, um, a sense of friendship, unity, right, coming together. So you you felt free and you felt like you're in this environment of of openness and you know celebration. Present position is the sun, so this is the most positive card in the deck. It represents new beginnings. Um, you know, it kind of mirrors the the fool card over there. So the sun card is represents all the positive emotions. It's a return to innocence, purity, and it's um, just feeling free and being excited about a new beginning. You're in a very positive frame of mind. Now, this could also represent masculine energy, but here I, I see with the Ten of Wands and the Sun, um, and then we got more fire energy in the future, there's this major change that is happening, and you are, you're not fully embracing the change, um, you're still trying to control it. So the future position is destiny. So destiny is calling, right? So there's um, an ending to a cycle, and it brings good luck, good fortune to you. So maybe, maybe either you don't believe that there's going to be this union or this connection of love, but source is saying, yes, it is coming towards you. Um, it's being divinely guided. There's nothing that you need to do. So put the, the wands down. Okay, so how do you feel about the connection with the masculine? Hilarious, the two of swords. So you feel that the masculine is stuck in his mind, indecisiveness, not making any decisions. There's 
you know, and this card is very important in the twin flame reading and divine masculine readings I just did, right? So he is making that choice. He's he's moving forward. So yeah, you feel there's this blockage there that and he's in control of that blockage. Wow, fool card again, the moon and heart chakra. Awesome. So fool card, past position, there it is. It's this sense of taking a leap of faith. So because it's coming in the past, um, it may be the masculine has already made a decision on some level to take that leap of faith, but you're viewing it as maybe stuck, being stuck at a crossroads. Um, the moon in the present position, this is things that are hidden. You know, there's this dark veil in front of your eyes. You can't see things clearly. You're looking for an answer. So in terms of the relationship, you, you're still stuck at that precipice. You're waiting to take the leap of faith. And when you look to the future, all you see is this, you know, red light and darkness, right? You're looking for answers. You're looking for clarity about this connection. Heart chakra, future position. Wow, unconditional love. So, you know, there's this sense that the masculine is... Um, really connecting with the heart space, feeling unconditional love, choosing love, right? And so this is kind of confirmation that that energy um, will be felt by the both of you. Right now you're, you don't know what's going on, you're confused, you feel lost, um, but it is true love. Okay, so what is in your future? <laughs> Pentacle, same card, confirmation that um, you or somebody else is going to be closed off. I really feel that it's the feminine. Um, so move through that Nine of Swords energy. Open up, right? Eight of Wands, the Death card, and the Four of Swords. So this came in as, as a crowning energy. This came in um, in the future position, present for the Twin Flame, and... Um, this was in the external environment for the masculine. So, Four of Pentacles being closed off. Now, the Eight of Wands in the past position is communication. Um, so, either you felt that things were kind of starting to pick up speed, and because they didn't, you closed off, or um, you wanted to communicate or you sent out a loving text or communication and you received nothing and again that's causing you to close off. Now the death card is a transformation. It's coming out of that energy. It's cutting away the things that no longer serve you. Death of the ego, death of the old identity. So this energy is is going to be removed in your life. And so you're going to be reborn anew. So maybe you had some expectations that didn't quite work out the way you'd hoped. Now the future position, four swords. As I said, this was crowning energy. So you actually want to find that peace, that solitude, so that you can heal your heart, so that you can make some decisions about what you truly want in your life. Um, yeah, so a lot of mental blockages here in your future, guys. All, I think, almost all of it is air, where it's almost the reverse for the masculine. The masculine is all about love. Okay, so let's pull one card from Miss Mermaids and this will be a final message from the universe. Stop. Mermaid with butterflies. Okay. Sagacious butterfly rising above her tainted pond. <clears throat> now, um, you guys got the flying fish, right, for the twin flame meeting, so again, it kind of goes along with that. Um, rising above her tainted pond, how does she ascend to find peace and purity beyond? A lovely young mermaid gazes longingly at a, a beautiful, multicolored, meh, my tongue is not working for me, sorry. A beautiful, multicolored butterfly ascending above her. 
out of a rippling pond. Her heart longs to go with them and escape the mire in which she finds herself. Yeah, again, that Knight of Cups, she longs for that twin flame connection on some level, but there's this mental bullshit there. Okay, so the message is um, to rise above your circumstances. It is time to rise above your current circumstances. You have been content with lesser and corrupted things for far too long. Look inside your most inner self and realize that you're not happy with aspects of your situation. Deep down, you realize that you are better than your circumstances. Perhaps your circle of friends is pulling you down or in a bad direction. Perhaps you, your work is beneath your skills, abilities, and aspirations. Kind of pointing to that, <clears throat> that cluster over there, you know, feeling like people are betraying you, right? And you're maybe feeling like you're being pulled down. Um and you're having trouble breaking free yeah having trouble breaking free for sure definite theme if you look at all the cards they're almost all saying that uh, so it could be your home life your significant other your neighborhood or your domicile self that is not up to your standards however just like the butterfly mermaid you have seen a path to peace and purity shake off the corrupt acquaintances and the duties that are beneath you aspire for more Spiritual, spiritually, emotionally, and intellectually. Take inspiration from the noble butterfly. Take wing and rise above. Yes, rise above. That's exactly the same message that was coming in for the other message from the universe. So, yeah, and don't allow these things to pull you down because every single card is you closing yourself off. Rise above, break free. Jump on that chariot. Jump on that fiery horse of passion jump on that, you know, love horse and take a leap of faith, break free from whatever, whoever that is that's holding you down. Okay, ladies, I do hope you enjoyed this and I'm saying massive love your way. Cheers.